with Kevin Cunningham, trainer and manager of new undisputed welterweight champion of the world, Corey the Next Generation Spinks. It's actually early December 14th. You know, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning right now. Just came back from the after party, you know, doing the damn thing. But we here with Kev. So, Kev, give us your thoughts on Corey's performance and how the fight went down. Oh, man. I thought he, uh, thought he uh, executed very well. I mean, uh, could have been better, but uh, we got the win and... Uh, uh, we did what we we we, we the, what we plan on doing. We did what we plan on doing. So that's that's about the most of it, man. There were several slips in the fight. The one that people seemed to be questioning the most was the one that was ruled a slip in the twelfth round. I mean, from where you were, from your viewpoint, was that a slip or was it a knockdown? And what are your thoughts on that? I mean, just give us. Yeah, oh, man. Both. I mean, he slipped on the uh, on the uh, logos on the uh, wet. They had wet canvas, wet logos. So he slipped on a logo, and one time he was pivoting around, and his, you know, Mayorga kept his foot out, and Corey's foot was stuck, and he tried to pivot around and and tripped over Mayorga's foot, and the second time he slipped on a wet logo. So I mean, I mean, he he didn't hit Corey, and Corey fell. One time he hit Corey in the butt, you know. Which was, which is a low blow if you hit a man in the ass. You know, he punched him in the ass, and Corey pivoted and slipped and hit the ground. I mean, he never knocked Corey down. I mean, Corey, Corey just uh, outclassed Mayorga. You know, made, made Mayorga look silly just like we thought he would do. Took Mayorga's best punch, and that was that. On the judges' scorecards, the two points that were deducted by referee Tony Orlando were the difference in the fight going to Corey and the fight being a draw. In your opinion, was the fight that close? No, I thought Corey won the fight. Uh, Corey clearly won the fight. Uh, uh, I think Mayorga should have been disqualified. I mean, two points. I mean, the the, the referee gave the man uh, gave Mayorga a break just by taking two points. He should have been disqualified because the the tactics that he resorted to was. Uh, 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 worthy i mean was was he should the guy should have been disqualified he 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 filed all night with the mosley and Mayorga fight virtually being done before Mayorga had gotten past corey did it surprise you that corey took the decision especially by the score of 17 10. and that 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 decision there that score there was was accurate very accurate and uh you know I mean, no, it didn't really surprise me. When you put on a performance like that, I mean, the guy couldn't touch Corey, man. I mean, he was missing so badly. I mean, he touched him a couple of times, but, I mean, for the most part, he looked terrible. So, I mean, I wasn't surprised. Where does Corey go from here? Spinks Mosley sounds great to me. Earlier in earlier conversations, you've told me how uh, you're hoping that Mosley steps up to the plate after Corey pulls the upset and shocks the world. Now that Corey's done part A, do you think part B is going to happen? Well, if Mosley wants to carry the legacy of the previous Sugars, Sugar Ray Leonard, who was a great champion, fought everybody, fought all comers, all champions. Sugar Ray Robinson was a great champion, took on all comers. If he wants to carry that legacy and to be respected as a great champion, he signed a fight to fight Mayorga. Mayorga lost. Corey beat the man who beat the man who beat him. It's only logical that he fights Spinks. If he don't fight Spinks, then the fans need to really question Shane Mosley's heart. Does there have to be an re immediate rematch with Mayorga, which would nullify any match with Mosley or some other fighter of big name caliber next? Um, I mean, we're, we're willing to give uh, uh, Mayorga a rematch, but for, as far as immediate re rematch, uh, we don't we don't have any. Uh, contract with that kind of terminology in it
many people, including myself, felt that Corey had to fight the perfect fight in order to win this fight. I mean, tonight he won the fight, but I think many people, including myself, feel he wasn't perfect and he made some mistakes that could have cost him but didn't. I mean, how much better will we see Corey Spinks next time out and how much better can he be? I mean, Corey Spinks is only 25 years old. He, I mean, he has, he, he, he can, I mean, he's only going to get better. I mean, you know, he made a few mistakes, like you said, but uh, next time around, he'll be a lot, a lot sharper, a lot sharper. Do you think it surprised a lot of people when Mayorga cracked him a few times solidly and uh, he took the shots the way he did and maintained his poise the way he did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it uh, uh, more than anybody, it shocked uh, Mayorga and his team more than anybody. Before the fight, you told us that once Mayorga figures out he can't touch Corey, he's going to go back to his corner and ask them what to do, and there's going to be no plan B. Do you feel that was the case? Yeah, it was the case. That's why he fouled, hit behind the head every chance he got, grabbed, held the head and punched every chance he got, hit low, uh, threw low blows, threw elbows. I mean, uh, uh, I think the, the referee should be commended. I mean, from... The Mayorgas camp, they should thank Tony Orlando for not disqualifying his ass. How does Spinks Mayweather sound to you? Oh, that sounds real good. I mean, I mean, in terms of uh, uh, being a money making fight, but you know, we ain't looking, we ain't looking to fight Mayweather, you know. But I mean, if if you know, if it's the money's right, you know, hey. We'd do it with anybody. We 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 didn't show the world that we willing to fight anybody. But I mean, we ain't looking for Mayweather. We you know I mean Floyd he ain't he's 135 pounds at this point. So you know we ain't really looking to fight Floyd. But I mean if the money right, we fight anybody. Based on guys like Mosley and De La Hoya's reluctance to fight Southpaw boxers such as Winky Wright, who hold titles in their division, what makes you think they'd fight Corey? Well, uh, Mosley kind of uh, put himself in a predicament here when he signed to fight Mayorga as if Mayorga was a shoe-in to beat Sphinx. So, I mean, he's got a March 13th date. He wanted to fight Mayorga. Mayorga lost. I mean, Mo, uh, Vernon Forrest beat Mosley. Mayorga beat Vernon twice. And Corey just beat Mayorga. So why not fight Spinks? The only reason that Shane Mosley does not fight Spinks, and I mean I mean the only reason I can see him not fighting Spinks is he he's scared. He's scared that he can't he's scared of losing to Spinks. And I mean, if he's a true champion, I mean, he shouldn't go out and look for another opponent. He should go out and look for the best man. You know, and who who who's at fifty four that he could fight on March the thirteenth? Who has a bigger name? Who who's hot right now? Who's the hottest fighter in the country right now, this moment? You tell me. Corey Spinks. You tell me. Corey Spinks. <laughs> who's got the biggest name again in boxing right now today? Ali. You for sure you're right. <laughs>